collection that was uh, done in this painting, but it is still an incredible amount of money. So let's take a look at this painting, and I'll ask the control room to bring it up, the Salvador Monday, and give us an art lesson, if you will, Uno. What is it that makes a painting like this worth well, a lot of money? Well, it was painted supposedly by the father of Western painting, uh, Western European painting, and uh, as such, it would be a very rare item. There was only about there's only about 15 now 16 known paintings as far as I know of uh, Leonardo da Vinci and uh, and I think that is part of the uh, the rarity of the painting is uh, speaks for itself and and the but, only one in private collection the only one yeah if, if it is in private collection who knows I don't know where who bought it but. Um, now, there's a new owner of it, and I hope he's going to be happy because the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Well, let's talk and, about it. Uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. The, uh, you go ahead. Well, some are comparing this, and I understand it was, it was uh, done about the same time as the Mona Lisa. Um, and some are saying there's a lot of comparisons between this, and I think the audience can probably see it now in the Mona Lisa. Yes, there is a lot, but uh, first of all, I would want to know the condition of the painting before, when uh, we are doing an appraisal of it. Uh, the first thing I usually do when I look at a painting, I look at the back of it and see how it is, what it is painted on. And then I look at the front and I uh, look at um, if there is any restoration. And um, after, sometimes you need a little bit of help with uh, seeing the restoration, but uh, a black light will usually point out this, the amount of restoration. This painting was missing for a long time. What happened? Well, it was missing, and then it was found, and then it was missing again, and then it was found again. And uh, it seems as every second or third generation rediscovers a lot of things that have been lost for a while. Usually it's because there was nobody to authenticate the item in the meantime. So they turn up, it, it's like a cycle, and uh, things turn up in, uh, in the weirdest places. And this one here had been sold for 15 pounds, apparently, back a long time ago. And then it sold for $10,000 in America. And then the price went up and up and up. Yeah. How influential is Leonardo da Vinci today? Well, he is one of the fathers of the Western painting, so uh, he is very important. And but the, condi the condition does play into the value, and um, it does not seem to matter in this case because it fits the world record price. So. Yeah, and by the way, yeah, it's a record 400 fifty million dollars at the New York auction so that was uh, that was quite incredible tonight Una yes. Langman owner of Langman Fine Art Limited thank you so much for being with us tonight you're welcome all right we'll be right back